Hello and welcome to the River Stour. That's not the Dorset version, but the one that flows through the Black Country, then out into Staffordshire, Worcestershire, and eventually empties itself into the mighty River Severn at Stourport on Severn. I'm well away from the confluence though, up more towards the Black Country. I've just cast out, I'm here for an hour or so this afternoon, just up to dark and I've poured myself a cup of tea. I put some brown crumb, red maggots out there and I'm fishing the center of the river with a light lead, small hook, single maggot and I'm targeting roach. I've just cast out again because I've had a couple of taps, very slight ones though. I was waiting for them to develop, they didn't. It tells me A, that there are fish out there, B, they aren't particularly hungry. So I'm going to strike at the next one as soon as I get any movement. As they say, third time lucky, let's hope that's the case. If I'm honest, it took more than three, but the most important thing is that I got there in the end. It may be a small roach, but I'm not a blanker and I'm off the mark on this short session on the River Stour. I've enjoyed my sessions on the river so far this year. I have caught just small roach though. In the past, I've had roach to a pound plus from the river, but that was some years ago and the reason why I'm on here now is because we're in lockdown at the moment in England and although angling was initially banned a couple of days later, the decision was reversed. We could go fishing but only local and although there hasn't been a definition in terms of miles, how far we can travel, this certainly is local for me, which is why I'm here. This and the local canal, that's fine. I'm not expecting to, to get stopped by the police, or if I do, not expecting to get fined for being here. It's not as if I've traveled 100 miles, 50 miles, even 10 miles. So it's local enough. And of course, I get in the car on the drive, I'm on my own, I don't fish with anyone. And I come here, don't see a, a soul, no anglers at all, back to the car, and then on my way home again. So it is a case of being responsible. I'm just thankful that I can go fishing. Did have a little tap then, nothing developed. Often the case, the maggot was tampered with, and then nothing. But I'm just thankful that I can go fishing. That's the, that's the important thing for me. So I'm not looking to push it to see how far I can take the boundary. If I can get out on a local river, local canal, local pool, then that suits me. Even though there are probably better options in terms of catching fish and certainly catching bigger fish, I'm just thankful that I can be out on the bank. I'm, I'm getting taps all the time, but the fish are proving extremely difficult to catch. And as it stands at the moment, I've got just that one small roach. However, I am hopeful that I'll be able to add to the tally before I pack away the great outdoors. It is good for your mental health. It is good for your, for your well-being. I'm very fortunate in that I don't suffer from certain things like a lot of people do. They need to be outdoors. They get depressed and they encounter lots of issues in their lives, especially with lockdown, being stuck in the house for all that particular amount of time. But even though I don't need to go out, I still find that when I do, 
I feel uplifted. It is the great outdoors, it is good for you. And angling puts us at the heart, as far as I'm concerned, of all that's good about being out and about. Even in the middle of January, <laughs> I'm still getting these, uh, these taps as well. These fish are definitely on a go slow this afternoon, but I've caught that one. If I can add to it, as I said, well, that'll be a, a bonus. If I can get a bigger fish, that would be even better. Just the small roach, as I said, so far this year, but I'm always thankful just to be out and about. Don't want to sound too dramatic, but I'm, I'm happy just to just be alive. That's something to be thankful for, isn't it? But if I can get another roach, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be, that'll be good. I'm in the car now, ready to drive home. Just small roach. However, there's always a blog entry and I'll be doing that this evening. Get the video on there, the written blog entry as well on my website. I'll be out tomorrow at the moment. Not much on work-wise due to the lockdown. No football at all in Wales, but fishing's allowed and that's where I'll be tomorrow. If you are out and about yourself this week, tight lines and I'll see you soon.